you have a vegetarian joining uh, you for Thanksgiving this year, a vegan, uh, we all have them in our family, don't we, Sarah? Yes, we do. <laughs> and uh, not that they're anything but fabulous, uh, <laughs> but demanding. And because really, no turkey, you have to think of lots of things that they can eat yeah. at uh, Thanksgiving. We want so them is, to feel satisfied. This is a roasted uh, vegetable and barley dish, right, which it's is nice and hearty. Very tasty barley, squash, and broccoli. And we're using acorn squash, which we've cut in half lengthwise. And don't cut yourself. These are they're, these are they're, hard. And, uh, very hard to cut in they half. They are. They're and very, very hard. Remove all the seeds and um, and pulp from the inside. You can use a sharp spoon like I'm using, or this is a very good tool for doing that too. Melon it's baller. sharp. Yeah, it's sharp, and it takes all that uh, pulp out very, very well. So then, once you have it all nice and scooped out, you can just cut it into half-inch pieces, and then just cut it into little half, well, quarter moon. Yes, quarter this is very nice. Rounds. We're going to roast these. We're going to roast them along with some broccoli in the oven. So I'm just put, putting them on our baking sheet. And olive oil and salt and pepper. Olive oil, salt and pepper. So the simplest, right? Yeah, it's extremely simple. So we do the same thing with the broccoli. We have a bunch of broccoli, just a little bit of oil. Only about two teaspoons is going to be plenty to get it, to get it going. And then season it with salt and pepper. The same thing. Excellent. It's two teaspoons for the for the okay. squash as well. I like roasted vegetables. Oh, me too. I if love them. If you don't them. put too much oil on them. If you put too yeah. much oil, they're too greasy. They do get kind so of greasy. So be careful about that. But you want to make sure you give it a little bit so that it doesn't stick. And it certainly helps with the browning. Okay, so these I can put into the oven. Mm -hmm. They roast at 450 degrees for... So even broccoli, which tastes so good steam, oh, yeah. is nice roasted. Well, it g gives it a completely different flavor, which is really nice and surprising. Okay. So 450, these take about 30 minutes. I'm going to put the squash on the top rack because it's a little harder and takes a little longer. And it's hotter at the top, so it'll cook quicker. We have one and three quarters cups of water, and this is quick cooking one. barley. Oh, quick cooking. Yeah, and oh, it so. only takes 10 or 12 minutes to cook as and opposed salt? to like 50 minutes. Yep. So after 10 or 12 minutes simmering, covered, we have it, and it's oh. all nice and done. It has a little bit of a chew, which is really great, but if you wanted to cook it slightly oh, longer, I, just add look, a little bit more water. Look how that barley grain just plumps up like that. That is a really beautiful thing. Making my dressing right in the bowl. So what's that? Quarter cup of lemon juice, a little bit of shallot, two tablespoons. You can leave that out if you don't really like it. I know some people don't like shallot. Pepper, salt. So it's salt lemony vinaigrette. Very lemony. Uh -huh. Some olive oil. Now this is kind of a low ratio of olive oil. It's only about two little less than three tablespoons. Okay. So how much lemon juice? Quarter of a cup. Oh, so that's so about it's three quite, tablespoons. Yep. So it's like 50-50. Yep, exactly. Okay. And uh, That's it. Then we just add all of our barley, all of our vegetables directly into... Mm, well, it's hot. ...the vinaigrette while it's warm, which makes it absorb oh, really oh, nicely okay. and makes the barley sort of suck all that flavor in, which okay. is really, really nice. If you want to get the uh, vegetables over there, those go in as well as a half a cup of golden raisins, mm, two-thirds of a cup of toasted almonds, and then it just tosses together. So this is a very healthy dish. Very healthy. It gets topped off with some cheese, but like you were saying, if it was a vegan that you had and that you wanted to share this with, you would leave the cheese off.